Good morning, everyone. This is your host, Liberty, and as it's like 8.45 a.m. in the morning, I'm going to try and be a little quieter than usual. Uh, oh dear. Please don't do that. Well, while we wait for this to load properly... Oh, yes. Look. <clears throat> Sorry. I've... I'm, I've just woken up, but um, Indra uh, demands that I play her game straight away. Well, actually, she didn't demand. She was just saying that um, she she thought I'd already played it and I should give her links. And I'm like, I kind of fell asleep. So, uh, well, let's just do this, shall we? Um, this game has an online achievements feature, which will be fucking awesome. Uh, create new account, doesn't open, get op system. I should already have one. Oh. What was my key? Give me one moment, folks. Hello, my good people. Anyway, so I just logged in, which uh, I wasn't going to share my eight-digit key code because on the site it says, please do not share it with anyone. And so I'm not. But I have logged in, so all my achievements will happen on up. Uh, I will go online and I will be awesome if I get every single fucking one. Yay! Uh, for the record, um, all of, well, I, I'm not sure if it's all of their games, but all of Inmar's games, and yes, that's what I'm calling them now, Indri and Foma, Inmar, all of their games have this online component where you get, well, it, you get a score for how well and how much you get in the game, what secrets you unlock, stuff like that. So it just adds an extra component to the gameplay and I rather like it because while I'm not big on uh, scoreboards and stuff, it's nice to have little uh, reminders that there is stuff that you've missed, if indeed you have missed things. So uh, two minutes in and let's just start with the game, shall we? Uh, keep in mind, I have played this game before, and I did enjoy the fuck out of it. This one is actually a new uh, update version that they're working on, so there should, uh, towards the end there might be some stuff that I need to... <laughs> uh, one moment. Alright. Um, I just asked Foma, and he said that the the only difficulty between normal and hard is how hard the enemies are. There's no reward for playing hard, which sucks a little bit. But whatever the fuck, we're going for normal. Oh, all right, yay! <laughs> so we are in agreement then. Indeed. Good. Then let us be off after you. No, no, you first, my friend. I insist. Very well. Are the stars in order? Yes, the time is nigh. It's finally here, the dead moon that only comes once every hundred years. Hurry now, before we find found out. The others are bound to come investigate soon. Understood. I shall be going first, then. You... what are... Well, that didn't sound happy. Uh, if you can hear something in the background, somebody's going full hog with the vacuum cleaner. So, uh, yeah. Somewhere in Aram, in a small church by the forest. Aram, by the way, for those who don't know, is a world created by a bunch of people. By a bunch, I mean a very large bunch of people in which people set their games and they've got this whole lore thing happening where it all matches up and all this stuff. It, it, I'm not big on it myself because I like making my own worlds, but um, apparently there's a lot of games set in Aram. And uh, you'll probably see a few games that are set in Aram. 
like well this game and I can think of one of the chain games from RMW it's mostly an RMW sort of thing actually so uh, although there are some people who jump in from other sites as well so if you see it yeah just you'll now know oh it's that world somewhere in Aram in the small church by the forest I'm so happy this game only has a small cast. <laughs> I probably won't get the word, uh, the accents or whatever voice is wrong. Oh, what happened? Oh, that damn traitor. He must have messed with the magic circle. Just wait until I get my hands on him. Wait, why can't I... My, my body, where is it? Ah, you're awake now. Damn, a human. I can't move like this. Right, just play dead. Just play dead. You were mumbling a lot in your sleep. Are you awake now? It's sort of hard to tell when you're like that. Damn, there goes that chance to pass by undiscovered. You can talk. You don't have to be scared. I'll try to help you, so just tell me the situation. Did something happen? Today is a dead moon. Strange occurrences are expected. Right, I can use that. Yes, as you said, the dead moon is the cause of this form. I know it. My name is Mariah, but you can call me... My name's Mariah. You can call me Mariah. Right. Screw you, Mariah, I'm changing your name. It's going to be... <laughs> I shouldn't do this. It's totally not even on. You can call me Naya! She's giving herself a nickname? Um, yes. Anyway, who are you? I'm a trainee priestess here, so I'll help you if I can. I am Morton. I... Oh! Then can I call you... What? No, my name is Mor... So, Morty, what happened to you? Damn. Human. Well, you see, it was uh, a curse. Yes, a curse. An evil demon cursed me. Oh my! Yes, it was. It was terrible. It transformed me into a beautifully bleached skeleton. Beautiful? I mean, he turned me into a horrible skeleton, a and then tore your body up and threw your head into a river. What? Well, I found your head in the well, so I thought... No, no, I mean yes, that's exactly what happened. That's awful. Are you feeling well? It doesn't hurt. No, this form is perfectly fine. I'm just missing some parts. I see. I don't think I can undo such a curse, though. If you wanted... Though, if you waited until tomorrow for the priest to come back, however... No! No? No matter how dumb this girl is, the head of the church is going to see through me, or at least think I'm suspicious. I will manage somehow. But I can't just leave you like this. Damn, the girl is turning out to be a pain. Thank God she's stupid. Stupid. Yes! Actually, I'm almost afraid to ask, since it would be unfair for you, but... Oh no, please ask me anything. As a priestess in training, it's my job to help. Could you perhaps help me find my body? It can't be too far away, if you carry my head. Of course I can do it, but, um, how are we? I can somehow feel my body is close, so we should be able to manage. But there are monsters around, and with the dead moon and all, they'll be very hostile. It should not be a problem since I... Uh, oh. Oh no! Did, did you perhaps find a grime... I mean, a thick red book around? A book? Yes, large red yellow letters. Um, I don't think so. Did you lose it too? Damn, 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 damn! Without my grimoire, I'm doomed! That bastard must have stolen it! Without it, I can't summon my minions. 
I can't trust a human to be able to defend monsters off a mess. This is a church, then do you have a graveyard? Sure we do. Why? Great, there'll be no problem there. But trust me, I'm a leech in the monster of dark mage. Can't very well say that. A magician! I have very special skills, and I should be able to show you one soon enough. Um, I don't really get it, but you seem to know what you're doing, so I guess it's fine. Exactly. Okay, I just need to carry you, yes? Um... Watch where you put your fingers! Uh, sorry, sorry. Is this fine? It will do. Now bring me to the graveyard, you useless minion. I mean, uh, sorry, what was your... Naya! Yes, Naya. Let us go. I wonder if all training priests are this stupor, or if it's a speciality of this place. Oh well, it works out wonderfully for me, so I can't complain. I will recover my body, find my grimoire, go back and beat the snot out of that traitorous meat sack. And now we can play. Do you need to rest some more? I am the superior race of the undead, as if I need to sleep. Like useless slack sacks of fluids. As if I need to sleep. Needed sleep like useless lacks of... <laughs> as if I needed to sleep like useless sacks of fluids like itself. It's nice dinner. Gone cold. Should I take some holy water? No! Just, just leave it there. There's only food and such in here. I can't see anything here that could be of use. It's only clothes and stuff. Are you interested in my underwear drawer? I have no such hobbies. There's an open book on the table. Someone has written some notes on the paper beside it. It's just some research the head priest was doing about the dead moon. And what did he say about it? Um, something about monsters from other worlds coming over, and monsters getting aggressive, and mm, duck powers. So the head priest was actually not stupid. Good thing he's away then. It's the head priest's favourite clothes. He left his favourite hat home this time. Your head priest has some odd taste. Hey guys, you forgot to orange his text. And his name is currently Maya. <laughs> Do you want me to bathe your head? Are you implying something? Oh, uh, we can say. What equipment do we have? Alright, oh, um, in this game... There's your difficulty. You get mods, which change everything. They change everything. There's a bunch of half-chopped vegetables. Are you hungry? I could prepare something. And I would eat it how? Well, the eating wouldn't be the hard part. Yay! It sped up by itself. I don't think forks and fish knives would be of much use. It's a pile of old notebooks. No peeking, those are my diaries. Who cares about the life of a human? There's some dirty laundry soaking in reddish water. I spilled the tomato sauce on myself before you came. And here I was thinking it was blood. It's locked. That's the head priest's room. He's away for today. Had some business in town. Ah, fire. Reminds me of home. Home sweet home. You don't have a single holy book. It's all novels here. Because it's my room. Shouldn't a trainee priest at least have a few holy books around? Nope, obviously not. It's a candle, it's burnt down quite a bit. Alright, down the stairs we go. I will pray for our safety. No need. There's a small painting with a sky on the wall and a book and a cup on the table. The book is in a strange language. 
Um, this was supposed to be God watching us in, um, stuff. I haven't really learned this all yet. Not a very good priestess, trainee or not. It's the donations box. It's only a bulging sack of coins inside. You have very generous donations. The head priest is very popular. The head priest expressly forbade me from leaving today. He said it was too dangerous. And yet she happily leaves to an even more dangerous place with the stranger. What an idiot. She is coming from me. The painting of the sky. The head priest says it's supposed to represent heaven. The painting of the sky. Yep. And that's supposed to represent earth. Sorry, I ran into a wall. I got distracted for a second. Okay, for my magic spell to work, I need you to bring me to the grave of a great warrior. The older, the better. The oldest, the bot. The older, the the oldest. The oldest, the body. The less soul it will have left hanging around, and it will be more obedient. Um, that doesn't sound quite right. The oldest, the body. The older, the body. Yeah, the older the body, the less soul it will have left hanging around. Yeah. There you go, guys. I found something! Yay! <laughs> okay, I think the graves at the very back of the oldest. They're all beaten up and never get visits. Right. You know what this means, guys. I found you here in the well. Did you fall in up river? There's a forest and mountains that way. I don't really remember. It's time for let's read the gravestones. Here lies Joseph, loving father and husband. Was he a warrior? No, a baker. He's of no use to me then. Here rests Matthias Largelius, sculptor and pervert. What? Oh, he kept asking the village girls to pose for him, I think, so they did, for his tomb, after he died. Here lies Randall Short. He tried to win a door dare concerning the chastity of Lady Maribel the Blade Orning, and lost. Lady Maribel paid for the grave, though. She was very generous about it all. Is she buried here too? Here too? She sounds like she'd be useful. No, no, she's still alive, and she sends us more people to bury every year. The funeral company loves her. The funeral company loves her. Here lies August Berland. That's it. That's a very short text for such a luxurious tomb. His wife and mistress were stopped, but they wanted to add a true bastard to the end. May he rot in hell. <clears throat> as requested, here lie Marietta and Paul Trennan, as clingy in death as they were in life. They had a special casket made years before they died so they wouldn't be separated. It was very touching, but the funeral company was rather angry. Here lies Sarah Starlet, fond of thinking the world revolved around her. May she at, lo at least shut up in death. Next. I'm sure it's not dangerous at all, he said. Well, I told you so, Josh John. Next. Here lies Hugo Lombardi, who lost his head over a woman. Literally. Lady Mirabel tried to tell him to stop, but he wouldn't listen. Here lies Father Adam Roost. He's the previous head priest. Pass. Carla Simmons, beautiful, fair skin, careless when it came to trying to poison to ha her husband. I'll pass on this one. Here lies Geoffrey Bumps Farmer. Next. Roses are red, violets are blue, you stole from the church, we won't miss you. I hear the priests of generations ago were quite proud of their gardens. The gardens are scratched out. Anything interesting in this? A mummy lender, I think. Here lies Trundle Searle. Enthusiastic lover. We told him giant man-eating plants were not a step up from the normal rose bouquet, but he didn't listen. Next. I used to be a warrior like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. 
We told you we'd put a joke on the head next time you told that joke, bastard. Next. Oh, an arrow in the head. <laughs> here, ca here lies Let's da da I gave up. Somebody else write his name. A tombstone engraver was going through some hard times. Here lies Fiona Carver, public woman, lying trader, husband, stealing whore. What? Her funeral was paid by her worst enemy, I hear. It's all rather mean. Worst enemy? They were neighbours and childhood friends, all very messy. Here lies Rupert the Daring. He said he'd steal the underwear of the Witch of the Swamp. I gather he did not succeed. Olga Sibel, rest in peace. Please, please, just rest in peace already. She kept coming back to haunt her family, they said. Here lies Granny Furin, suspected of being a witch and accepted as being the best damn cook in the country. We will remember you fondly. Sounds promising, but a warrior is what we need. This grave is broken and warm. These are already a very old, but I don't think they're from warriors. Somebody ran out of things to write. Alright. We know which one we need to go to then. There's only one pedestal left of an old statue. It reads Robin and the rest is illegible. I think this one belonged to a warrior and it's very, very old. It will have to do since it doesn't seem like there's anything else useful in here. What will you do with it? Oh, nothing. Just a simple trick. Step back a bit. We need some space. Oh! Uh... <laughs> there we go. Um, should you be glowing like that? Yes. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here. Should the ground rumble quite like that? We'd be in trouble if it wasn't. It's a good sign. Whoa! And voila! Minion ready. Oh, uh, Magic helper, I mean. Nothing to worry about, really. But... No worries, no worries. He's here. He's glad to help. Aren't you, Minion? Um, Morty, are you sure? Uh, ah, he's coming around. Must have been ancient. Hey, you! You're under my command now. He is? What? No, I mean... I won't be of any use. What? I can't do anything right. No, you just... I'm worthless. Oh, don't say that. Uh, your name? Robin. Then can I call you... Oh, not this again. <laughs> oh, wait a sec, guys. Ow! Yep. I'm gonna call you Robbie. Call me whatever you want. Nobody cares anyway. Why do you sound so sad, Robbie? I'm useless. I'm sure you're not. We could help against. We need help against monsters. Could you help us? I'm a mere helpless tiny priestess and naughty. Well, he seems to be able to do magic tricks, but unless I use his head as a projector, I don't think he can help either. I could help, but somebody else would surely be better. Of all the worst possible warriors I could raise, it had to be one with self-esteem issues. It's definitely not my mind. Now, now, it's no use thinking like that, is it? Be positive. You seem to be, um, already dead, so it can't go any worse, can it? Right, it will be fine. You look very strong. Plus, I'm dead and naturally removed from the limitations of a living human body. I... I will try, but it may be no good. We'll judge that, yes? I'm sure you'll do fine. You'll see. Okay. If the pep talk is over, you're bound by my orders, minion. I am Mort... Morty! Damn human... And this is Mariah... Naya! Yeah, whatever. Let's get along, Robbie. I will try my best. Good. With a minion, we should be able to manage the monsters. Where do we go now? To the forest. But the gate's locked. 
The priest didn't want anyone going in there while he was gone, so he took the key. We have an undead warrior. Gates are inconsequential. I think there's a cue in that. Somewhere. Where the sea is. Possibly. Um... Just get us there and I'll take care of it. Also, oh, it's too much trouble to explain. Just read these. You got manuals for general advice, mods and Robin. Read them to understand how mods and characters work in battle. Each new character will come with its own manual. manual. Yay! Achievement get! Okay, um, items... Let's see, zombie manual. Zombie... Robbie's command skill is Tower. It provokes enemies into attacking him, diverting attention from the other party members. So he's sort of like a cover. He's like a paladin in that aspect. He's pop that mechanic is puppy. <laughs> Sorry guys. <clears throat> he has two weaker skills that can generate the confidence needed to perform his stronger attacks. Two of his mods provide Bonus confidence in battles. Skeletal Mage removes the confidence cost from Dark Circle, allowing Robbie to use it constantly. Drain and Dark Circle are Robbie's main attacks against physically resistant enemies as they are magic based. Uh, we should just read this stuff so that we have it all done. Alright, mods are equipable at equip <laughs> are equipable items that fulfill a variety of functions. They're found by defeating enemies. Mods can usually raise your base stats, and um, stat mods come in four ranks, C, B, A, and X. The higher the rank, the bigger the stat increases. However, A and S ranks or may also lower other stats, so use them with caution. Every character has four personal mods with a wide range of effects. A wide range range. Range range! Range range range! They are explained in each, other's, each character's manual. Alright. Um, ah, I just read that! Okay, here are some hints to save your life. Pay attention. You can save at any time to so make sure you save often. Yes, sir! Enemies do not give experience or money, but they drop mods. Make sure you equip them. New characters come unequipped, so be sure to give them mods when they join. Most enemies appear only once, but each of them respawns always in certain locations if you want to fight them again. Try out different builds using mods. The same character can become very different depending on what you're equipped. Yeah, I remember that much. Pay attention to what the plot tells you. It will always say where you have to go next. If a particular fight in proves impossible, try again with a different mod setup. And don't forget, every character has its own mechanics. And no, we're not changing the Okay, so what we're going to do is end this episode here because I know that certain people are chomping at the bit to get at this and uh, I will probably play another one today because I kind of do want to get further into the game today. So I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this little first taste of Dead Moon Night and I highly recommend you go and download it and give it a shot because frankly it's one of the better games out there and the characters are just love them so much so um until next time uh take care be good be safe and have a great day ciao for now guys